we are back for another video of Architects 3D Printing. In this video we're gonna solve the problems that we had in the last episode that were the extreme level of vibrations and also the problems of deformations in the first layers of our print. For that we're gonna make different solutions that are absolutely free. We're gonna start solving the problem of the vibrations. I don't know if you are in the same situation but I had a problem that is that I have to be moving the printer around all the time. And as you can see, this wooden frame is fragile at all. You can bend it very easy. And if you are moving the printer around, maybe you have to recalibrate it every time. For that, what we're gonna do is to look for a base for the 3D printer so you can move it around without bending the printer. For this matter, I will take this piece of wood that I had laying around and I will use it as a base. With this we will solve future possible recalibrations, but it doesn't solve the vibrations. To solve the vibration problems, we're gonna go back to our box where the seller sent the 3D printer. If we have a look inside, you can see that on the top there is a piece of foam that we are going to use. With this piece of foam, we're gonna cut a portion here around one and a half centimeters that we will use later. And we will place the foam on the board. Now we will place the printer on the top and as you can see the printer now sits perfectly on the top since the foam absorbs all the deformations of the wood. The next step we're gonna do to reduce the vibrations will be release this part of the clips that came with the package. We will repeat this process in every corner and get ready to the next step. What we're gonna do next is go to the Plusa research page to the blog and download this anti-vibration feed. Here we have the anti-vibration feed. Now we will go and open Cura. Once Cura is open, we are gonna drag and drop the anti-vibration feed STL the canvas. Now what we're gonna do is multiply this model because we need four parts so we'll need three more copies. We're gonna organize them like so, layer for you and here we have our feet. This infill is quite okay, it's 25% and this is a print that will take 2 hours and 26 minutes. But remember that we have some issues in the last print because of the temperatures and we don't have a layer fan. So we will reduce the speed to 30 mm per second and we will reduce the temperature of the bed to 50 degrees. And we are ready to go. Now we will save the file as a G code in our desktop. And now we will drag and drop this file into our memory card and insert it in the Prusa i3. Alright, so once we're back again in our 3D printer, we will turn it on, we will insert the memory card here, and we will go to Menu, Print from SD, and select the anti-vibration field. As you can see, it says bed heating, it's going to heat the 50 degrees, and the nozzle is also heating up to 210 degrees for the first layer. In this case, we used 50 instead of 70 that we used the last time. And also we reduced the speed. While the printer is heating up, we are gonna prepare the filament for the print. For that, we are gonna take again what our seller named tripod. We're gonna insert the spool of filament and it's set up. This time we are gonna use the green material for the print. I have cut the white filament that we used in our last print with the benching about 2 cm of the extruder. Now we're gonna be ready and when this piece of filament gets into the extruder we're gonna push the green filament here. As I said, we moved the printer and now we have to recalibrate it since the filament is not able to go out of the extruder. Just put some pressure on the, on the screw until you see a constant light in all the surface. As you can see now, the filament is going out in all the parts of our print. 
This part of the print is still white because there is some filament inside of the nozzle but once the green filament starts going in it will be green. Now we will let the printer go until the print is finished. All right guys, so after a couple hours of printing, look what we just got. As you can see, the print quality is quite perfect. It was slow, but the quality is very good. And as you can see, there are no more deformations on the bottom due to the temperature, since we changed it in the last print. What we're gonna do next is take this portion of the foam that we cut earlier and make four pieces, more or less three centimeters long. And now we're gonna place those four pieces here like so and we're gonna take the anti-vibration fit that we printed we're gonna put some glue here in the bottom and we're gonna place them on the top of the pieces of foam. And finally what we're gonna do is install the anti-vibration fit with the piece of foam behind the M10 threaded rows that we have in the y-axis. All right, so right now, as you can see, our printer is literally floating on the top of the four feet that we just installed. As you can see, the frame is not touching the base anymore, so the vibrations won't be transferred that easy. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or any suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel here and please consider to support me on Patreon to keep making it possible. For regular updates in my future projects, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram as architects3dp. I will link you my accounts down in the description. See you on the next video.